in this video let me consider one numerical on star delta transformation or conversion determine equivalent resistance between terminal x and y using star delta transformation this is the given circuit here we have terminal x and here we have terminal y we are supposed to find the equivalent resistance between these two terminal so this is the given circuit here we can observe that this 10 ohm and 10 ohm are in series we can replace these two register by a single register of 20 ohm similarly here 4 ohm and 12 ohm are in series we can replace these two by single register of 16 ohm so apart from that no any registers are in series nor in parallel so now we supposed to apply star delta transformation to reduce this further so from this circuit consider this node this node and this node so between these three nodes 10 ohm 30 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in delta fashion i will try to convert these three registers into star fashion the equivalent star circuit will something looks like this this is i will consider it consider it as r1 say this is r2 this is R3. So we can replace 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm by R1, R2, R3, where R1, R2, R3 are in star connection. Let me tell you how to find the value of R1, R2, and R3. So this register R1 will be equal to, so this is the adjacent registers for this R1 is 30 and 10. That is, we are supposed to multiply 30 into 10 divided by 30 plus 10 plus 20. That is 30 plus 10 plus 20, which is equal to we have 300 divided by. So here we have 60. That is nothing but 5 ohm. Similarly, R2 can be calculated as R2 is equal to the adjacent registers are 10 and 20. That is 10 into 20 divided by denominator is same. That is 60. So that is nothing but 200 by 60 that is nothing but 3.33 ohm similarly we have r3 is equal to the adjacent registers are 30 and 20 that is 30 into 20 divided by denominator is same that is 60 that is 600 by 60 which is equal to 10 ohm now let me redraw the circuit So here I can represent the circuit as 17 ohm. I will keep as it is. This is 70 ohm. And here R1, R2, R3 we have to connect. So here this is R1. The value of R1 is 5 ohm. This is 5 ohm. And here we have R2. This is R2. Its value is 3.33. And we have R3 is like this its value is 10 ohm so we have converted 30 20 and 30 which are in delta into star values so this 4 and 12 are in series that is nothing but 16 ohm this is 16 ohm and here 10 and 10 are in series it will be 20 ohm so here it will be 20 ohm this is connected so here 8 ohm is in series with 10 ohm this is 8 ohm this is connected to this point all values are in ohms so similarly here we have 20 ohm so here there is 20 ohm and this point and this point are connected this is terminal y and this is terminal x So now further we will try to simplify this circuit here we can observe that 17 ohm and 5 ohm are in series similarly these two are in series similarly these two are in series so i can represent 17 plus 5 is 22 that is this is 22 ohm and here we have 16 plus 3.33 that is we have 19. 3 ohm and 10 plus 8 
that is we have 18 ohm and here we have 20 ohm which is connected as it is this is 20 ohm and here we have 20 ohm so this is 20 ohm so now here we can observe that this point this point and this point are same so as i have written here y terminal so this is also nothing but y terminal so this is nothing but y terminal and here this is nothing but x terminal so further we will try to simplify so here in this circuit we can observe that neither any of the registers are in series nor in parallel so again we have to convert we have to apply star delta transformation to simplify this further this 22 ohm 19.33 and 8 ohm are connected between this node this node this node and this node so here these three registers are connected in star fashion i will try to convert this into delta fashion so to convert this into delta fashion we will get one register between these two nodes one register between this node and this node and one register between this node and this node right let me assume this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 so we'll try to convert the registers connected in star fashion that is 22 19.33 and 18 into r1 r2 r3 which are in delta fashion so let me tell you how to find r1 r2 r3 to convert star into delta so here r1 will be equal to product of these two register plus product of these two plus product of these two divided by 18 that is r1 is equal to 22 into 19.33 plus 19.33 into 18 into 18 plus 18 into 22 18 into 22 whole divided by so here we are calculating r1 the opposite to r1 register is 18 18 is opposite to this r1 so this 18 should be on denominator side so therefore we can get r1 is equal to let me find the value of numerator use numerator value as 1169.2 divided by 18 so it gives divided by 18 it gives 64 point 64 point 96 ohm so similarly let me calculate r2 so r2 will be equal to here numerator is same that is numerator will be 1169.2 divided by so here r2 opposite to r2 is 19.33 that will come in denominator 19.33 so it gives so here it gives 60.486 60.486 ohms similarly let me calculate r3 r3 will be equal to numerator is same denominator we have r3 opposite is 22 so it will be equal to use 53 point 145 ohm so now let me redraw the circuit by representing r1 r2 and r3 so here this is terminal x here we have R1. So R1 value is 64.96. This is Y terminal. Here R2 should come. So this is R2. R2 value is 60.486. And here we have R3. Its value is 53.145 and here we have 20 ohm this is 20 connected to this terminal and here we have 20 this is 20 connected to this terminal 
so this is the reducer circuit from this now from this circuit we can observe that these two registers are in parallel and these two registers are in parallel we can replace these two by single register these two by single register by taking equivalent value that is if two registers are in parallel so equivalent value for this is 60 into 486 into 20 divided by this plus this that is 80.486 so simplifying this so it gives 15.03 ohm similarly for this we can also find our equivalence which is equal to 53.145 into 20 divided by sum of these two that is 53 63.73.145 it gives it gives 14.53 ohms so let me redraw the circuit this register appears as it is that is 64.96 this is 64.96 ohms and these two are replaced by 15.03 here we have 15.03 ohm and these two are replaced by this value 14.53 so here we have 14.53 these two terminals are connected so this is terminal x and this is terminal y so further here we can see that these two registers are in series so let me simplify further this is 64.96 ohm these two are in series so these two will be added so this is terminal y this is terminal x the sum of these two that is r equivalence that is 15.03 plus 14.53 so it gives 29.56 this is nothing but 29.56 now let's find the last step that is equivalent registers between x and y that is r x y is equal to 64.96 is parallel with 29.56 that is r x y is equal to 64.96 into 29.56 divided by sum of these two 64.96 plus 29.56 so simplifying this it gives it gives 20.315 ohm so this is the equivalent resistance between terminal x and y Thank you for watching.